Hello friends, Charlie Chip here, and today we're going to do another unboxing of a couple of items I got on eBay, and I also went to a um, train show on Sunday, and it was hosted by the Toy Train Operating Society, they held it there in Anaheim, and uh, I had fun, took the wife, she loved it. That was good. And I guess you could join their membership here. And Well, I might just do that. Um, let me show you what I got there from them. Uh, I got this Pacific Fruit Express Tyco. Um, for like three bucks. It was beautiful. I was like, wow. Fantastic. Can't beat that price. And uh, let's see here. Let me put that right there. And I got this little trackside shanties for five dollars. Couldn't beat it. I was like, I'm happy. This is gonna go to that uh, restoration project I got going on there. So I got a couple of small buildings that I did want for sure. I wanted those. And then I got this little beauty here, the Sioux Line 50 footer. I think I paid five bucks for this too. So I couldn't complain. It was in a box. And it was, it's in great shape. And it even has the brake wheel. Got that. And I also got, which I think I'll start. This one was only $3. The New York State Hood boxcar. And uh, that's a nice one too. So I'll start collecting these and start running these. Now, for the stuff I got on eBay. Um... Ooh, that. Ooh. This is horrible. That one's not good. Not good at all. Let's see here. Um, let's use this one. Let's see. Ugh. Time to get some new blades. All right. This one here. Via Canadian National Caboose. I don't have the engine yet. The locomotive's coming at some, at some point. I just haven't seen one that I like. But here's a caboose in a box. It's nice. I think I paid a decent price for this thing. It came from uh, Miss Hoffman out there in Wesley Chapel, Florida. So I'm I'm grateful for that. Yes. That's the Via Caboose. And let's see here. We got this one. And this one here came from uh, Mr. Miles in Alameda, California, up north. He sold me this one from up north. So, uh, wow. Package did good. It must be raining up north because. A lot of plastic. All right, let's see. What is this? What is this? I don't know. It's a big surprise. Let's see here. What is this? Nicely packaged. It's like unwrapping a damn tamale. Delicious. <laughs> Except we won't, we won't be able to eat this one. Let's see here. Wrapped it so, oh yeah. Wow, well, almost, well I almost had it right. This one here is uh, wrapped in cellophane. You guys remember that uh, Wizard of Oz? When they asked the lion, hey, what would you do if you came across an elephant? I'd wrap them up in cellophant. Look at this elephant. Wow. Look at this one here. No brake wheel, though. That's okay. I got plenty. But this is an arm and hammer. We're going to be baking something here with this thing. Shake and bake. Arm and hammer. Look at that. Beauty. Nice. Wheels are clean. 
missing the brake wheel, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. All right, let's put that over here. Arm and hand. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Miles. Okay. Let's see. Next. Man, I gotta. I don't know what happened. Oh, here's my here's my blade. Here's my blade. Hang on. Got my blade right here. There you go. There's the magic blade. Okay. So this one here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this came from Oksana Braksuk from Hillsdale, New Jersey. All right. I can't remember half the stuff I buy. I know I just bought a lot. So. And I bought a lot so that we could run these, do some videos, enjoy the videos. This came. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. This one here is a Santa Fe. Santa Fe uh, under the box of under the number 228B colon 1400. And it even comes with rails. Look at that there. Man, you can't beat that. It says operating headlight. I love it. Now, this was supposed to be a... I don't even want to mess with that horn. Break it. This was supposed to be a dummy. Well, they thought it was a dummy. Maybe because it didn't run, they thought it was a dummy. But this is actually a... MU2 Mantua motor down in here. So I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking it's gonna run. Came in came in great shape. Everything's there. Yeah. The paint on the shell looks beautiful, or it looks pretty damn good. I mean, hey, over 40 years, but okay. Well, then we got a bonus supposed to be a dummy. It is not a dummy. It is actually a powered locomotive. And that's okay. And let's see what we have here in this box. What is this? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what this is. This one here. This one came from Mr. Shock in Forest Hill, Maryland, on an eBay. Um, well, it's just an eBay buy it now, I think. And ooh, hopefully this is gonna be okay. When they wrap them up in a big bag and there's a couple things in there, I feel like there's a couple things in there. Forget about it. That could be disastrous or like, we got lucky with uh, Burlington and the Durango and the uh, Reading Lines uh, locomotives the other day. Um, it could be okay. Well, let's see. It just depends how they package this thing. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see what happened here. I don't see anything falling off hand so far, but this is a promotional Chef Boyardee collection. Here's the Chef Boyardee. Look at that thing. Yeah, I have another one of these. I only had bought the box car itself, but this is a complete set here. And uh, this one's in okay shape. We're okay with that. I'll take it. Here is a Caboose 689. Uh, also in okay shape. Missing a, one of the wheels, but no. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. All right. Put that wheel on there. Okay. Well, the, 
hook and horns are intact. That's good. I have one of these eight, six, eight, nines in pristine condition. See, this one's missing the front, the front rail here. But no, no big deal. No big deal. We're good. It also came with a Union Pacific gondola. And let's see here. It's in one piece. I have a couple of these, so we'll just throw this one and hook it up with the other ones. Okay. And then, of course, oh, what I found here. I found a brake wheel for something. I found a brake wheel for... Oh, uh, man. I'm thinking it's for this right here. Yeah. Yep. There it goes. See? There's that brake wheel for it. And, of course, we have the... Santa Fe 5628. Um, looks pretty good. No, not bad at all. A little shine them up. A little piece here broke in the back, but it's not broken off completely. So we can glue that underneath and try to keep it. Try to keep it nice. So yeah, yeah, I can work with. I'm okay with that. It'll run. It'll run. But this is the part that I was after. This part right here. And this is the Chef Boyardee sign. So, yeah, see this is the backside, Tycho. And here is the sign. Now, Whoever, whoever put this uh, sticker on there didn't do a good job, but you got to remember, this has been well over, you know, 40 years, and sometimes just time and age and sitting, you know, the sticker will slip, and that's what you have, you know, it'll just droop down, it's, it's down about maybe two, three millimeters, but... Anyways, that's that's what I was looking for right there. That that whole thing. All right, well that's it for this one. Um, I have I've got some uh, signal crossings that are coming in, and uh, I think all the variants of it, except for one, which I didn't care for, and I want to do uh, an unboxing with those when I get them all together. That way, we'll put them on. On the layout, we'll run them, uh, we'll, we'll get them all wired up, and you guys can enjoy those. So, all right, you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you guys later.